One of the biggest updates in car history has just happened. Seven new cars. We have a brand new drift track, which isn't really a brand new. It's kind of is and it isn't. The wheel support has been reworked as well, which we will talk about. I will test it out. But let's start with the cars. First car is Kizuku, which I believe is a GS300. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe this even comes with a 2JZ in real life, if I'm not mistaken. I will get the ultimate setup. I will rate each car as well. I'll do like a 1 minute 60 second tune over here. Gonna lower the max torque quite a bit. And that should be it. So this is a completely default body kit over here. But that is a body kit which changes the whole car. It makes the whole car slightly wider because there's now these wheel arches, right? Comes with two big fart cannons as well, which I am digging quite a lot. And uh, the next one is, I don't know, it's, it's not my style. It's some kind of a racing vibe over here. It's even wider, has uh, like a shopping cart vibe to it. The last one is a wide body, kind of drippy looking taillights over there. But honestly, I... <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going through puberty. All right. Well, this is better. Now we can see the car a little bit more clearly. Oh, by the way, this color would slap with like dark tint windows. Oh, yeah. Look at this beauty. Already digging this car. This looks absolutely fantastic. Maybe I should darken the front lights as well. Yeah, that looks pretty mean. Might as well do the same with the rear ones. Dude, that's pretty insane. Let me check out these spoilers over here. Okay, so there's quite a few things over here. They're all pretty aggressive. This is kind of neat, although I don't like the spoilers hanging out on the side too much yeah i'm gonna go with the little tiny lip over here exhaust listen we the bigger the better okay ask anybody i'm gonna go with two big fart cannons so now let's test out the setup i'll give each car a rating as well we'll test it out on this pacific hills map okay now we're in the flow there's a lot of smoke i cannot turn the smoke off for some reason as for the angle i would say the angle on this car is really good some cars just by default they don't have a lot of angle this one has no angle issues so this is pretty chill nice little 360 over here as well honestly i'm gonna say like 7 out of 10 7 out of 10 is a pretty solid rating it's a good car the next car is yakuza that's a jdm classic 30 second tune over here let's just uh, do everything over here the same way max torque down the revs go up and i think she should be fine so let me just quickly repaint the vehicle all right kind of gave it like a minty look over here let me see let's check out the body kits for this vehicle so this is stock over here then we have this one which wow i'm actually digging the exhausts the exhausts are really lovely i want to keep these the tail lights are different over here as well as well as the rear bumper that's also pretty mean it comes with wide body actually not bad the exhausts are in a different place now these are really different if you look at these setups they're actually very unique so honestly i would even go with this weird looking wine body version because it's just like a subtle wine body i like it oh we can even have like the empty style of rear bump over here oh these are the long ones dude that looks gnarly i like it this is what the interior by the way looks like headlights Man, there are so many headlights. Are you kidding me? I don't know why, but this kind of reminds me like an old Mercedes. Now, let's test out this uh, fake Mercedes. So, the last car was 7. Let's see if this is better or worse. And already, I can tell this car is way better. Oh, goodness. Okay, that's going to be one of my favorite cars probably. Dude, that's nice. This is ripping pretty hard over here. My God. The handling on this car is 9 out of 10. Very easy to drift with. Very accurate. Gonna go take the right exit over here. Actually, I'm gonna change my rating. I'm gonna give it like 10 out of 10 actually. But we're still gonna check out the other cars. So the first one was 7. This one is 10. Let's get to the next car. The Bimmy P31. We're gonna drop an ultimate setup on this one as well. Do the quick tune. We're gonna make it Ferrari Red. I don't know why, but I like Ferrari Red on this car. This is the stock version. Boom. Comes with a white body as well. All right, not bad. Pretty gnarly. This one I like a lot. I don't like these extreme white bodies, but I love it. I don't know why it looks so good. Dude, look at this car. And boom. Dude, that looks insane. That literally looks like an FD car. 
The yellow headlights over here as well. I think these are like daytime lights or something like that. These are the proper headlights. Let's check out the last one as well. Okay, that's more like a minimalistic setup. Honestly, I'm gonna go with the aggressive one. Also, a license plate would fit so good in here. Yes, dude, look at this. That looks nasty. Looks way better with a license plate. I like it. What I do wanna do is quickly paint the tail lights. So let's make them a little darker. Oh, yes. This is the closest we can have to a Ferrari car. I kinda wanna try out the spoilers now. Okay, this one is pretty good. The CD... <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for going through puberty right now. I apologize. CDW. <laughs> Gonna go with that. The exhausts are a little small. But listen, we have four of them. So we should be good. Hopefully, it's gonna be another 10 out of 10. But let's see. Feels a little snappier. Still feel like I'm in control. It's not bad. It wants to transition quicker. I don't know if that is good or bad. I think for FT competitions, this would be a really good car. I still feel like I'm in control. But it's like more aggressive more snappy but honestly i like it that's actually a really good car guys just a personal preference it's a little too snappy for me compared to the previous cars i'm gonna give this car a 9 out of 10 but boys the next vehicle on the list is a k truck and dude i love it so much i want one of these in real life i want it one day i will get it dude i don't know what is it with these miniature trucks you are sitting basically against the windshield i want to have one in real life anyway ultimate setup over here i'm really hoping this handles good let me make this metallic i don't even know which color we're gonna go with over here okay i'm gonna go with like swag purple this is what it's called swag purple or twitch purple dude, look at the cute headlights over here as well oh man we need to get like some bling bling rims on over here oh yeah now that's what i'm talking about dude i love it that is sick let me do the uh, quick setup as well and now i am excited to check out the body kits okay Okay, so this is the default body kit. Come on, let's check it out. We do have like these fender arches now. Maybe we can get side skirts as well on the next ones. Let's see. Oh, sheesh. As the, as the kids say, right? Okay, that's pretty good. It just feels like I'm watching a Transformer movie. It literally transformed. That, that is sick. Dude, look at the exhaust over here as well. Oh my god, dude, it looks so good. Oh, dude, uh, please, Santa, give me one of these in real life. Dude, look at this. Oh, that's so good. Oh, with the blink blink rims as well. Oh, we're gonna slam it. We have space to go down. Yeah, we're gonna go lower. It looks so good. Chorus, thank you. Wait, spoilers. I'm sorry, what? Oh, okay. Wow. I mean, I mean, might as well. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, that looks sick. Definitely want to lower it. Oh, yeah, it's literally basically sitting on the ground. This car is ready. This literally looks like it came straight out of Hot Wheels. Please let it handle good. All right, boys, we're rolling. Launch kicking. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's horrible. No. Oh, God. <laughs> what is... What is this? Whoa, whoa. Okay, that is really something that is so different than i expected it to be it's going everywhere okay maybe like up shift nope that does that nope that whoa hello i was really expecting it to be a little better oh god but uh, uh control 360s guys look at that uh, literally a 360 machine it looks so good the handling part oh god it's one out of ten but listen you should get this car anyway i'm sure on a controller it is way better usually on controller you can like drift pretty much any car but look at this cute little transformer yeah guys i i named this car transformer but boys now for the dlc cars there is additional three cars which sadly carex did not make them free you gotta get a dlc for that they need to like milk us a little bit as well even though we paid full price for the game three dlc cars let's check them out boys the low key 4 gt and i'll be honest it low key looks pretty good do you get it because the car is named loki and i said loki okay anyway <laughs> sorry newer bmw over here i have a feeling it handles pretty good for some reason long wheelbase cars handle good in cars so again a 60 second setup over here now let me make it a different color as well something a little bit more brighter blue vibe is pretty good over here nice and bright we can check out the body kits this is default this is the next body kit which i i'm loving and hating at the same time it's too much but it's it's kind of working i don't know why the next one i guess is more clean let me compare it to the stock one okay it is white body as well the last one i think the last one is even better 
clean white body spoiler alert let's check it out oh i feel like this spoiler is like on every car this is like a jdm spoiler <laughs> yeah we're gonna have these ricey ones we're gonna go with just absolutely nothing the exhaust look a little sad we're gonna go with like two bigger ones over here and let's rate the handling as well so i have a feeling it's gonna be pretty good but let's check it out it feels pretty heavy as i expected it's pretty smooth that's gonna have a pretty good score let me do a couple more corners so i can actually give an accurate rating a ton of angle super smooth it's honestly a 10 out of 10 car let's check out the next car azura gxr this is the new gr86 i believe wheelbase is shorter it's gonna be a little bit unpredictable and snappier i'm gonna assume we haven't tested it the tune is done now the rims i don't like the rims okay i feel like we have different rims now it should be better as for the body kits let's see stock one and boom a white body kind of like a racing vibe over here a big spoiler kind of getting like rx8 vibes i don't know why that looks like even more mazda rx8 <laughs> The color is kind of off. The front lights we're gonna have to change to these, for example. And darken the windows as well over here. All right, the GR86, which is short wheelbase, should be probably pretty snappy. And I'm completely wrong. It is way better than I actually anticipated. Definitely on transitions, it is quicker. But honestly, it's at least a solid eight. Well, my predictions for this car were a little wrong. Even the Master Goose, the number one pro sim drifter in the whole world, sometimes is just wrong. I'm gonna give it 8.5 out of 10. We do have one more car left, which is the Zismo Z. I mean, it is the new Z and I'm really happy to see it in the game. Wow. Okay, the setup is done. Let's check out the body kits. Stock one over here. Again, with like a slight white body. The front looks way more aggressive as well. And this one, I feel like has like a racing vibe to it. And that one is honestly not bad. I don't know why, but I like it. I don't like the headlights. Other than that, it's pretty good. Luckily, we can change the headlights. So now it looks pretty good. Now the color is a little too bright and we're gonna make it blue as well let's test it out now with these short wheelbase so i'm not expecting much but again i was wrong on the previous car so let's see wow i'm wrong once again that rips harder than my mom after taco bell that is honestly impressive jesus it even feels smoother than the previous one the angle is good it's super smooth it feels really accurate. I can't believe how good it handles. This is another 10 out of 10 car. That's a lot of good cars with this update. But boys, we do have a new map as well. Let me keep this little tiny car. I do love it. Now you guys know we have been asking for a new map for many years. And finally, Carix gave us a new map, which is Summer Castle Road. Now, they did the bare minimum. We asked the new map. They took the existing Castle roadmap which is during winter and they removed the winter made a summer castle map basically <laughs> it's better than nothing it's bare minimum we were really hoping for a brand new map but listen i will take it let me check it out so this is the map over here i remember this map from the uh, winter version exactly the same layout over here you get a break early yes yeah there we go the map looks like you would expect it to look like i mean at least we have a new map that we can drift on i was really expecting like a separate like actual new map not like a old new map if that makes any sense i feel like still we got seven new cars and half a new map plus actually we got more than that now we can share our cartoons in the game as well brand new feature we're gonna check that out in a second also they said they fixed the steering wheel support so we're gonna test that out as well if we go into multiplayer there is modification workshop so that is a new thing i haven't seen that before and oh so these are public tunes over here oh there's even a moza tune over here that's pretty cool these are all for your car so these are all zismo z4 the one we're using is zismo z4 if you're horrible at tuning cars all you gotta do 
now is go into the modification workshop, pick a tune. So that is a good little upgrade. Now, guys, my new Moza wheel previously on Carrex was not working because I didn't have the uh, separate adapter where I can plug in all the Moza devices. But luckily, Carrex has fixed steering wheel issues. So now, basically, any device is gonna work in Carrex. So we're gonna try it out. So give me one minute. I'm gonna swap out the steering wheel and we're gonna test that out. All right, boys, we do have the fancy new moza racing r9 steering wheel now i did see the r5 tune somewhere so let me go over here someone made the moza r5 tune i want to grab that and we're gonna reduce the force feedback like to 69 now let's try to drift i know the t300 was super smooth let's see right now it looks pretty good but let's see what happens if we let go of the wheel is it smooth well it is Right now, I can kind of easily drift in Carrex with a direct drive wheel. I can't believe this is happening, but I can pretty much always now use my fancy direct drive Moza R9 full force feedback 4K 1080p steering wheel. This is great news. Let me try 360 as well. Drop it to third gear. Boom. Done. A 360 with a direct drive wheel like it's nothing. Well, this puts a smile on my face. Now, maybe I did have a little part in this because I did make a video called Carrex, please fix your game or whatever, where I talked about the steering wheel support being pretty bad for direct drive steering wheels. And now they actually fixed this. The fact that I can use my direct drive steering wheel now in Carrex. Wow, pretty happy with the update. I'm gonna rate this update like 8 out of 10. Honestly, I'm happy. If you're happy, make sure you subscribe. Make Goose even more happier by subscribing. I will feed Bob as well. Bob has been on a diet recently. Drop the like as well. And as always, stay sideways. Peace. <laughs>